Crusaders for Christ, y'all know where to find us, you know, to go to the YouTube page. I'm going to do things a little bit differently today. First of all, it's taken us two days to get this video up to you, so it might look a little bit different because we're doing things a little bit different. Um, secondly, most importantly, our brother, James Breedwell, the go, go, go guy, was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver, and he is currently awaiting a hernia treatment. So you guys, first of all, we need to pray. We need to pray that the Lord heals him and allows him to be a miracle for everybody that he's going to encounter during this process. Um, second of all, he's in good spirits, you guys. He's not letting this faith uh, shake his faith. Um, in fact, he's been getting some answered prayers. Even through this process, through this season, it's so amazing that the Lord can use this to bring glory, um, which he's experiencing a little bit of a, a hurry up. Um, in the medical department, which is wonderful, because anybody that's been to the doctor or the hospital, have had tests, whatever the case may be, we all know that it can be a serious wait. So glory to God for that. Um, what else is going on? Oh, go over to God Buddy and Me Ministries. Purchase your hats, you guys. Look, I got mine. I absolutely love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the proceeds go to help support God, Buddy, and me so we can hand out Bibles, clothes, help bless those people in need. Before we get into it, I know we left on um, chapter 34, Psalms, and we're talking about the righteous. Well, this is also a cry of a righteous, but the Lord kind of redirected my heart to get away from Psalms. And like I said, this is day two of trying to upload this video. So this was yesterday, and by golly, we're going to upload this video. Whenever the Lord says change the game plan, you change the game plan. So I'm changing the game plan. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into it. i got a couple of verses here. We're going to start with John 7.24. Jesus tells us, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgments. This verse is there to remind us the importance of discerning righteously and not making judgments based solely on outward appearances. Second verse, Proverbs 17, 15, which further emphasizes the importance of righteous judgment. He that judges the wicked and that condemneth the just, even both are an abomination to the Lord. This verse warns us against perverting justice by either justifying the guilty or condemning the innocent. As followers of Christ, we are called to stand for justice and righteousness in all judgment. Whenever we are crying out for righteousness and seeking the judge righteously, we are praising God. We are glorifying him. We are aligning our hearts with his divine will, and we are reflecting his character. The Lord delights in our pursuits of justice and our commitment to live by his principles. Praising God isn't just about singing songs in church service. It's about living a life that reflects his glory. And whenever we judge righteously, we are living out our faith and bearing witness to God's goodness and holiness. Our actions become a testament to his love and his grace in our lives. So my brothers and sisters, I strive for you all to cry out to the Lord and ask for his righteousness. Try to align your hearts with his will. And make sure that you go, go, go and tell the world about Jesus. 